if I can hit this properly, although I make no promises. Welcome everybody to Interstate Adventures. I am Battery H, and we're back for more American Truck Simulator. As you can see at the time of this recording, it's uh, Christmas time. Uh, and while we're not going to be actually doing that, we are going to try to take a couple of shorter runs today in hopes that uh, we can do something special and get enough money to get a truck of our own. Uh, I'm trying to get to somewhere in the $35,000, $36,000 market. We'll see if we can get that to work. Uh, and we're going to try something extra special today. So in the job market... We're going to take a job with uh, Santa Cruz uh, to Fresno, which will give us another city to play with in California here this afternoon. It's uh, about a three and a half hour trip of 139 miles. Uh, with that being said, we're going to take that. I will be right back as we get things loaded up. All that comes out and we have new mail at the same time. Amazing that is, isn't it? Uh, let's take a look at that real quick here. Oh, we can help you grow more bank selling. Yes, we're gonna we're going to uh, now be able to take a uh, half a million dollars in loans. Uh, that's nice. I'm not hoping to not have to do that. Let's take a look at the truck and the load. We're driving a Peterbilt 389 with the extended sleeper cap, the longish trailer, which is good. Okay, we're going to get this bad boy on the road. Let's get things in and fire it up. Okay, put her in gear. Brake is, brake is off. Uh, not worried about fuel. Not worried about distance. Oil temperature, water temperature. Speed and cruise control would be nice to see. And then... There is our... There is our map, and we are away and ready to roll. Here we go. Come out of here and make a right hand turn. Ah, these long trailers are such fun. Okay. Alright, as we get started, I am going to do something extra special on this road. Rolling down uh, California Highway 1. I'm about to turn in. We're going to, uh this a little differently, do this with a little music from the inside, and uh, do this in reminiscence of, uh, reminiscent sort of, and hopefully reminiscent in a way of one of my favorite uh, truckers on YouTube, Alley Knight. So sit back, enjoy the music, and uh, the montage here.
Yep, we almost missed our turn there, folks. We almost missed our turn. shock all right let's see if we can't actually put this thing where it belongs that's something akin to the first try it's nestled in there nicely too, isn't it? You bet your buns. And we have a long trailer and a super long cab. Oh, the unmitigated joys. Well, a little bit farther than I hoped. I don't think we can make that work. Okay, let's get back in the, in the cab here. Put my rear wheels in the 
know. I don't know that there's any way you can do this with this kind of turn. Okay, well. Just about do this with a 389 or with a 357. I don't know if this is even possible with this big old truck. As much as I hate to do it, I'm just going to let us miss the parking bonus. Um, we're not going to get the additional uh, XP, but. Uh, and, and it's so close to level 4 would have been ours. Okay. Well, let's see where we're at fiscally. We're at $30,530. All right, it's time to go to the bank and take out a couple of loans. We're going to take out a $100,000 loan. And we're going to take out a $50,000 loan. And we're about to go buy ourselves a truck, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go to the truck dealers. And there is two PD built dealers. Uh, Flagstaff is the closest we have, so uh, let's go visit. And as you can see, there is the Peterbilt 579 duty or day cab. That's kind of what we want to do. We're going to customize its configuration. So we've got the duty cab. That's good. Um, okay, so we've got 180,000. We're looking at 119 right now. Um, short 6x2 midlift and with the chassis. It's the 150 gallon, but it is a uh, midlift, which is a good thing. I don't think we really want to go the that route. Um, yeah, that'll be nice to see. Uh, engine is going to have to be the 370 horsepower Cummins ISX 12. Transmission, we're going to go with the Eastern Fuller without the retarder. Save a little money there. Uh, interior is going to be the standard prestige interior. And for our cabin, we're going to do our Gulf Coast logistics, and unfortunately, the uh, the bars just take up in the wrong spot there. I should have I should have allowed for that a little more. But uh, Gulf Coast logistics, New Orleans, Louisiana. That's where we're from. That's that's going to work there, I think. Okay, let's see what we can do here for the uh, door handles, cab panels. Apparently, main mirrors. Can we get standard? Yeah, we can get the standard mirrors. Good. So we'll get those nice orange mirrors. It's going to give us our lights up top. Um, that's an interesting light setup. I think we're going to go with the, uh, instead of the Lumen Mark 1s, let's do the Lumen Mark 2s, shall we? They're a little more expensive, but I think they're a little better looking. I think the other thing we need to have isn't a cabin deflector. It is rather a horn adapter. And we'll get ourselves some noise blowing out there. Okay. The other thing to look at is tires. Uh, we don't have any choices right now. So we got the Dynamix tires. The uh, steel, there's standard, I kind of like the standard I don't think we need anything else hub cover wise. 
Uh, can't mess with the, the cab panels yet. We certainly can't get a new exhaust yet. Okay, about the only other thing we can do on the inside is not that. Uh, I'm thinking that the uh, classic leather SCI wheel is a much better looker than anything else. And that gets us to 121.715. Save changes. And those are our changes all. And we're going to confirm that. And purchase. Note that all trucks bought here have the regular insurance paid already. And now we'll go into our, uh, into our new headquarters. is getting ourselves a job to support this beast so let's take a look and see what's in the area here real quick I will uh, I will take a look and I'll be right back with you okay everybody we're gonna take some furniture from uh, Las Vegas where we're at uh, at the Walbert to uh, Klingman Arizona it's another short run uh, only three hours and whatnot and we're gonna play this one in its entirety so uh, let's go pick up the load Let's go try and pick up the loop. do some quick jobs I don't know anything's a possibility here okay there's the freight market um, let's pick a you know, let's do the short box trailer this time yeah let's do that we had a long one already today let's do a short one shall we things a little more interesting. the routing that they've given us always check your route before you take off yeah it's not to be anything unexpected we'll be uh, piling on ourselves down highway third or highway on 93 us 93 into Kingman and right into the town and uh, dropping it off there is a way station along the way you can almost count that we're gonna get that why well that's just the way we seem to roll okie dokie let's get out of here check our speed make sure hopefully that'll work there we go look at there like a trooper
go. Now folks, get used to this cab because this is our new baby for a while. that is true, that is uh, very much so, the uh, McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas is right off the strip, matter of fact, if you land on the right runway, you can see the strip will roll by on your rollout or your takeoff, that is if you're on the correct side of the plane. We have our own beast here. We will uh, try to take more daytime jobs. Uh, keep it interesting for you folks. Nope. Not going to make that. And the mountains in the distance are also quite appropriate. Las Vegas sits in the valley. certain I've mentioned that before but some of the uh, local mountains provide uh, there's some nice parks out there actually if you want to do uh, some climbing and hiking they have stuff that leads to all sorts of elevations not want to be doing a whole lot of hiking out there in the middle of summer. It gets uh, quite, uh, quite warm.
great state of Arizona. And now we'll start to uh, head down here a little bit. I said that way station was going to happen. Here it is. So we've been weighed. Not a new way. Okay, stop here on the scales. point the computer stopped recording properly as you can see by the screen I would like to say that uh, I had footage of it somewhere else unfortunately I don't so we're going to call it let be known that I actually managed to park the dang delivery and everything worked out well uh, we'll pick up next time and I apologize for the lack of uh, footage but everything else went so smoothly uh, we were only a couple of moments away so I will see you all next time because, you know, sometimes I play poorly and sometimes my equipment just captures things poorly. Until next time, everybody, have a wonderful day and drive safe.